hello guys welcome to today's vlog my name is seraphine so on my previous vlog i showed you a rabbit's life cycle from when it's born you know through different stages of life to when it's you know forced to die on today's vlog i'm gonna be showing you how i prepared my rabbit meat so the rabbit here is fresh from being slaughtered and the idea is to actually hang it for 24 hours to leave it to dry so I did not leave it to dry for 24 hours because I really needed to pack it. But as you can see, it's a lot. Uh, the first time I saw the rabbit, I thought it was not going to be this much, but yeah. So ingredients that I'm going to be using is an onion. I'm going to be using garlic. I'm also going to be using pili pili ho ho. I'm going to be using a tomato. I'm also going to be using ginger. I'm gonna be using coriander, dania if you like. So on to spices, I'm gonna use garam masala. I'm gonna use paprika. Cayenne. Curry powder. Draco cubes. cinnamon and mixed spices and my favorite soy sauce the, the dark one I wish I was this fast but I'm not so I had to cut the rub it into smaller finer pieces you know for ease of cooking and and eating so this is how it looks when it's all cut you can see it's a lot so that's one whole rabbit so i put it on the fire um so the idea is to let it you know use its own water first because it wasn't so dry so it will have its own water so I'm gonna leave that to cook for a while so a few minutes later as you can see it has cooked a little bit but the water is not yet dry so I'm still going to cover it up a little bit more to allow it to you know cook with its own water again So I'm gonna finish that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing the onions and garlic and the like. No, I don't use a, a board. I just prefer using my hands. It's how um, I grew up doing, so I really don't use the board. Plus that is just, you know, making so many things dirty. But not really, it's, it's easy for me doing this. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna cut everything using my hands, no board. So the whole pier I'm gonna you know cut it the same way. And I'm also gonna cut the rest the same way. So I'm gonna leave that at that. It's time to check it, to check up on it. Uh, as you can see, the water now has completely dried out, but it's still not very well cooked. So I'm still going to have to add some water um, and cover it again so that it cooks a bit better. I love my meat very very soft. Some more water, maybe. Yeah, looks yummy. I'm going to cover that again. So I'm already done preparing this, um, 
I'm done preparing all of them. So now the water has also completely dried out and it's now time to put the onions and the like. You could use a different sufuria, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I prefer using the same sufuria and you know just ring in my ingredients at this point. So first I'm going to go with the onions. It's a bit obvious though, right? I'm going to stir it a little bit. It already looks yummy. I'm going to, you know, add my garlic and ginger. Stir it again. So next I'm going to put in some oil, some cooking oil, not so much. I'm going to stir that. I'm going to add a little more. You can put whatever amount you fancy. that a little again the next I'm going to put my nyanya or tomato um you can actually put as many as you want I just prefer to put one because I can actually work with it so yeah I'm gonna stir that again next I'm going to put my rainbow cubes Then I'm gonna put in my paprika. At, in no order actually, just whatever. Whatever amount. I may prefer to put a little more. I'm gonna put in the garam masala as well. This is in no particular order at all. Whatever goes. I'm gonna stir that a bit just for it not to to burn. Um, then I'm gonna add the rest of the spices. So curry powder next. I'm gonna put in cayenne next. cinnamon and mix spices I can just put as many spices as I, I could so I'm gonna stir that um, look at how good it looks I'm gonna add some salt maybe a little more So I'm going to start that again. So now I'm going to add some water. <laughs> and no, it's not for dufu. Just for, you know, just to leave it to boil a little more. Don't worry, it's all going to disappear. So I'm going to cover that and... I know you can tell, I, I actually really added water. <laughs> but again, no, not for the tofu, no. So I'm gonna throw in my ho ho right now. I don't like it cooking so much. I'm also gonna add in my soy sauce a bit at, at this point. I 
I really don't mind the quantity. I just, you know, I just pour it in. So if you're keen, you'll notice that the color of the soup has actually changed. So that's why I really do love the dark superior soy sauce. And I'm gonna leave that to boil again for a while. Voila! <laughs> as, as you can see, the water has actually gone down. And now this is ready to eat. I think it looks very yummy. So I'm gonna add in the coriander at this point because obviously it doesn't need to cook a lot. I'm gonna stir that and and the meal is gonna be ready. It looks so yummy, it looks so yummy. Alright, so um, it's done. So this is how it looks when it's done. They say food is all about presentation. So this is how I presented mine. As you can see, the soup is all gone, but it's not very dry. So that's how I like my meat. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. Like the video and share it. Thank you for the support so far. Bye-bye.